How's it going guys? This is Zijin and today I have a story to tell you. So some of you don't know, some of you do know because I remember you from my stream. I deliver Chinese food. I, I still do. It's been like four years, but the worst, the crazy, the bizarre delivery deliveries that I have are horrible. They're horrible. So first off, I'll start by saying it's a good job. I mean, I sit in my car, you know, I'll play on my phone, play some games, whatever. I'll even go to like Taco Bell. It doesn't matter what you do. You just, there's no delivery, do whatever you want. There is a delivery, drop it off. But we accept deliveries from so far. It could take you up to 30 minutes just to drop the food off. And you get there, say in 35 minutes, 40 minutes, and these people are pissed. They will give you a zero dollar tip. And it's like, I try to explain to them in the nice manner. I say, hey, you live 30 minutes away. And I got here in 35 minutes. So she whipped that shit up really fast. You should be happy, bitch. But no, they're not happy. They tell me, they're like, wait there. I'm gonna go test the food. And if it's cold, bring it back. That's usually how it goes. But I'm gonna take you on a special delivery. Not in a weird way, but just tag along. <laughs> so my shift starts normally at 5.30. Most of the time I go home at 6.30 <laughs> because this place is dead. Like not a lot of people order. This night was special. This night I was there until 10.30. The majority of the shift was me sitting in my car you know, playing on my phone. Finally, you know, she's closing up. I, she's wiping everything down. It's about done. She calls me in, you know, she's like, come on, boy. And I go in, I sign out, sign the book, and the phone rings. I knew. I was <laughs> So she's on the phone handling business, hangs up. She looks at me. One more? <laughs> So of course I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. And it's crazy because she just cleaned everything, put everything away, done for the night. So I'm shocked she said yes. So after I got the bag, sat in my car, typed in his address, and I was pissed. I couldn't believe how far this dude lived. I was almost, I felt like I was about to leave out of my state to deliver to this guy. Honestly, this... This Chinese restaurant doesn't get that much business. So for her, she's not losing out on anything. You know, I got to pay for gas. But for her, it's like a customer came in, bought some grub, and left. But for me, I can't afford to bring you this shit. I'm no mathematician, but from when the guy called, I would say for her to gather the materials and make his food, it took her about eight minutes. And if he lives 40 minutes away... <laughs> Divide that by pi squared divided by the root, other stuff. Multiply, subtract. I would say it should have took 48 minutes. I got there around 50, hit some lights. I go the speed limit. <laughs> when I like saw his house and I started pulling up, I already knew I was in for it. I saw someone in the window, just like a... A silhouette <laughs> it's kind of creepy I'm not gonna lie so I'm like walking up down the pathway to the door in the corner of my eye I'm like kind of looking but I'm kind of not and I just see someone standing there freaking me out a little bit I walk up to the door ring the doorbell just I'll wait you know I'm I'm not gonna sit there and ring the doorbell so I ring it once nothing so I'm like, maybe the doorbell's broken. So I knock. I'm like, all right, they definitely heard that. So I'll wait. I'm like, I wonder if this dude's still in the window. So I'll kind of like, well, I'm just going to step down this step. And yeah, he's still in the window. Okay. <laughs> he didn't hear me, maybe. I'm like, motherfucker. No, I'm just kidding. I didn't do that. But I, I banged harder, like definitely a lot harder. I'm like, okay, they heard that. So I wait. All of a sudden, this door opens to like this fabulous dad. I say fabulous, not really in a good way. It's just the way 
he was all energetic. He opens it. He's like, I made you wait like you made me wait. So I, I let out a little chuckle because I thought he was just joking with me. But then he said, why have you done this to me? He, he was, I say fabulous because he was so energetic. I, I, he was like ready to kick my ass. I don't know, he had adrenaline because he made all these weird hand gesture things. He, he was probably ready to fight. I don't know. You delivered to some crazy people. So I'm on my toes a little bit. In my mind, in my mind, I'm like, I'm ready. But my body, I was just like, like, I don't know what to tell you. You know, you live far. <laughs> Hello. So I explained to him. Uh, I, I try to. I, there's no, no explaining to this guy. I said, hey, you called. Took her roughly eight minutes to make the food. 40 minutes for me to drive here. I don't think it took very long. You know, you're impatient. Like, what did he expect? I have no idea. So after I try to explain it to him, he just has a blank stare. And he goes, wait there. If this food's cold, you're bringing it back. So fair, sure. Do whatever you have to do. I want to go home. <laughs> That's when mama came. I'm at the front door and I just hear, oh my God, what is this? What is happening? Mama comes whipping around the corner. She's like, my children are starving. They're starving. My daughter's eating soap. <sighs> what? Excuse me, bitch? I have no explanation for that one. I made someone's daughter eat soap that day. I don't I don't ever sleep at night. It hurts me every day. No. Uh-uh. Take the soap, be a mama, and take the soap out her mouth, and tell her don't eat it. Tonight's bubble bath will be held in the second floor toilet. But all seriousness, my mind shattered. Done. Existence done. I don't even don't even know where we are. Just side this. I want to go home. So he goes on the tit, big zero, making sure I see it. You know zero. Then he stabs through, stabs right through it, throws it, fabulously. So I go away, pick it up. You know, go to my car. Just get me out of here. Forty minute drive home. I decided, do I work here still, or do I just stop? Is it time? <laughs> But what's really nice is the lady at the Chinese restaurant, I told her what happened. She felt bad, and I thought it was very nice of her. She gave me $10, I mean, for mostly for the gas, but it just sucked overall. This is definitely one of my top 10 delivery stories. I just gotta, I gotta ease you into it because you meet some crazy people. I don't want to lose you right off the bat. <laughs> But if you want to see more, let me know in the comments below.